Thanks for joining us for another Tantrum House crowdfunding conniption. Today we'll be looking at the game Agueda City of Umbrellas, which is coming to Kickstarter soon. And as always, we want to make sure that you're aware that our crowdfunded videos are sponsored in part by our own Kickstarter backers, as well as by the creators of this game. <laughs> Welcome to Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows. And today we're looking at the pattern building game Aguada from 25th Century Games. It's coming to Kickstarter with two other games, Color Field and Donut Shop, all on the same campaign. Now, I already published a video about the other two games that you can check out by clicking the link above. In this video, we'll just be talking about Aguada. That is correct. Aguada is a 1-5 to five player game from designers Dustin Dobson and Milan Zivkovic, and it features artwork from Matt Paquette and co. In Aguada City of Umbrellas, players will take on the role of festival artists, decorating the city streets with their colorful umbrellas in order to attract the most tourists to their streets. In this video, we won't be sharing any opinions on the game, but we do want to show you what it looks like on the table and how it's played so that you can make an informed decision when it comes to becoming a backer. Let's take a look. To set up the game, populate the umbrella market and select two end game goals. Fill the cards with the matching umbrellas and place the rest on the final card space. Give each player their board, mural tokens, meeples, coins, and tiles, and then you're ready to begin. On their turn, players will select one diagonal row of umbrellas. Some rows cost a coin, and some gain a coin. Then, they will pick one row in their board to place all of their selected umbrellas. Anytime a mural space is covered with an umbrella, the matching color is flipped and revealed for the public. Next, they must either score one row one or two times using their tourist meeples, and they'll gain a point for each matching umbrella, or they must rest, pick up all of their meeples, and rotate all three scoring tiles. Once both tiles in a row are revealed, the meeple is unlocked and able to score umbrellas. Play continues until one player has filled all of the umbrella spaces. Then, points are tallied for the end game goals, and the player with the most points wins. This game is based on a festival in Portugal called the Umbrella Sky Project, in the game, players are drafting tiles, placing them on their rows on their street board, and then selecting one or two tourists to move into one of their three rows of umbrellas. Yes, careful placement of those umbrellas. You'll be able to unlock these sections of your mural as you play along, and there are end game victory points based on how much of your mural you complete before the end of the game. Once a player has filled up their entire board, scoring of your arrangement of umbrellas will be based both on the standard board scoring placement rules, plus the communal shop cards that you chose at the beginning of the game. Yeah, there's a whole stack of cards to pick from when you set up the game. You can do it randomly, um, but it'll do things like give you a point for having um, a certain color not touching itself in the arrangement of your umbrellas, or things like having a certain number of, say, red umbrellas in every single row, so you can gain additional victory points in addition to what you scored uh, for your tours throughout the game. If you enjoy drafting games, especially ones that introduce you to a little bit of history and culture, then you should check out Aguada on Kickstarter now. And then, as always, be sure to let us know what you think about the game in the comments, and then like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Attract the most tourists to their streets. In this video, we won't be sharing any... Did you want to... I just thought... Yeah. We'll, we'll just do the whole thing. I'll do it one more time. Start over. From the top? Aguada, Aguada. 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 It's Portuguese. It's like water, right? Agua, rainbows. I think I said it Aguada because I didn't know there was an accent mark on the A when I first saw it. In Aguada, City of Umbrellas, players will take on the role of festive art of... Maybe we can do a B-roll shot. 